kickboxing team. Lady Higgins. Lord and Lady Claire. Sir Reginald and Lady Torrent. Professor Zoltan Karpathy. Sir Frederick and Lady Ainsford Hill. Colonel Hugh Pickering. Oh, Mrs. Higgins. Excuse me. She made it past the first hurdle. The ambassador's wife was completely captivated with her. I know. I've heard several people asking who she is. Do tell me what happened. Higgins said, Madame Ambassador, may I introduce Miss Eliza Doolittle? And Madame Ambassador said, How do you do? And Eliza came right back with, How do you do? Is that all? No. When it was my turn, both the Ambassador and his wife turned to me and said, Colonel Pickering, who is that captivating creature with Professor Higgins? What did you say? Well, I must admit, I was stopped for a moment, but I collected myself and said, Eliza Doolittle. Mrs. Higgins, do you think she'll make it? I do hope so. I've grown terribly fond of that girl. Professor Henry Higgins. Maestro, maestro. <coughs> oh! Oh! Do you remember me? No, I don't. Who the devil are you? I am your pupil, your first, best, and greatest pupil. I am Zoltan Karpathy, that marvelous boy. I have made your name famous throughout Europe. You teach me phonetics. You cannot forget me. Why don't you shave? <laughs> I have not your imposing appearance, your figure, your brow. Nobody noticed me when I shave. Where did you get all these old coins? Decorations for language. The Queen of Transylvania is here this evening. I am indispensable to her at these international parties. I speak 32 languages. I know everybody in Europe. No imposter escapes my detection. And now, Professor, you must introduce me to this glorious creature you escorted this evening. She fascinates everyone. Not since Mrs. Langtree came to London has... Dr. Themistocles Stephanos. This so-called Greek diplomat pretends he cannot speak English, but he does not deceive me. He is the son of a Yorkshire watchmaker. He speaks English so villainously that he dare not utter a word of it without betraying his origin. I help him to pretend, but I make him pay for the nose. I make them all pay. I look forward to meeting your lady. Higgins, I'd say. Where's Eliza? Upstairs. A last minute adjustment. Let's not risk it. Let's collect her and leave immediately. Henry, do you really think it wise to stay? Stay? Why not? Miss Eliza Doolittle.
time. Oh, thank you, old chap. You are far too kind. You thank must you. be the greatest linguist in all of Europe. Oh, hardly, hardly. Higgins, it was an immense achievement. A silly notion. If I had backed myself to do it, I should have chucked the whole thing up two months ago. Absolutely fantastic. A lot of tomfoolery. Higgins, I salute you. Nonsense. The silly people don't know their own silly business. Tonight, old man, you did it, you did it, you did it. You said that you would do it, and indeed you did. I thought that you would rue it, I doubted you'd do it. But now I must admit it, that succeed you did. You should get a medal, or be even made a knight. It was nothing. Really nothing. All alone, you hurled every obstacle in sight. Now wait, now wait. Give credit where it's due. A lot of the glory goes to you. But you're the one who did it, who did it, who did it As sturdy as to brought her, not a second did you falter There's no doubt about it, you did it I must have aged a year tonight At times I thought I'd die of fright Never was there a momentary law Shortly after we came in, I saw it once, we'd easily win And after that, I found it deadly dull you should have heard the oohs and ahs, everyone wondering who she was. You think they'd never seen a lady before. And when the Prince of Transylvania asked to meet her, and gave his arm to lead her to the floor, I said to him, you did it, you did it, you did it. They said she was ecstatic and so damned aristocratic, and they never knew that you He was there, all right. Not to his old tricks. Oh, Carpathy, that dreadful Hungarian. Was he there? Yes. That blackguard who uses the science of speech more to blackmail and swindle than teach. He made it the devilish business of his to find out who this Miss Doolittle is. Every time we looked around, there he was, that hairy hound from Budapest. Never leaving us alone. Never have I ever known a ruder pest. Finally, I decided it was foolish not to let him have a chance with her. So I stepped aside and let him dance with her. Oozing charm from every pore. He oiled his way around the floor. Every trick that he could play, he used to strip her mask away. And when at last the dance was done, he glowed as if he knew he'd won. And with a voice too eager, and a smile too broad, he announced to the hostess that she was a frog. <gasps> no! Yavo! Her English is too good, he said, which clearly indicates that she is foreign. Whereas others are instructed in their native language, English people aren't. And although she may have studied with an expert dialectician and grammarian, I can tell that she was born Hungarian. Not only Hungarian, but of royal blood. She is a princess. Congratulations, Professor Higgins, for your glorious victory. Congratulations, Professor Higgins, you'll be mentioned in history. This evening, sir, you did it, you did it, you did it. You said that you would do it, and indeed you did. Thank God it's all over. Now I can go to bed at least without dreading tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Higgins. Good night, Mrs. Pierce. I think I shall turn into. It was a glorious occasion. Good night, Higgins. 
Good night, Pickering.